Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch WQG24509 heat pump tumble dryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dryer some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before we start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances like these. I do specialise in vacuum cleaners and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. This is part of Bosch's Series 6 range of heat pump tumble dryers. Uh, it is a completely different design. This is a new design for Bosch. What they're doing is they're coming up with a new range of tumble dryers and washing machines, really, to match each other. And I must say, I really like it. Uh, when I very first saw it, I wasn't too sure. But when you compare this design to the other design that's just about to be discontinued, then I must say, I think this looks really good. This model has a 9 kilogram capacity. And as I just mentioned, it uses heat pump technology. The main advantage is it's a lot more energy efficient, but I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a moment. So when you first turn the machine on, you'll notice that the display on the right hand side here is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I must say, Bosch have normally used a red LED display, uh, but this time they've decided to go with the, the white LED display. And normally they reserve this for the very high end machines, which of course this one is, uh, but it's a very, either the high-end machines in Bosch or the sister company Siemens. But I must say the, the white LED is quite a lot easier to read than the red. So I'm pleased that they've gone with, with that colour. Uh, you've got a lot of different options around here. I know some of you are thinking, well, all I want it to do is just to dry my clothes. But you've got a lot of different options depending on how you wanted your clothes drying. Uh, first of all, this model has something called sensor dry. And what that means is that when you put the clothes in, uh, depending on which program you select, it will detect the moisture content and it will actually adjust the time of the program depending on, first of all, the load size and also the amount of moisture within there. So whenever you see this time at the start, at 3 hours 7 minutes, don't always assume it's going to take that long. Uh, depending on the program, as you can see, it varies a, varies a huge amount. Uh, what it will do is it will actually tell you on the front the maximum load that you can put in. So you just saw that flash up there, three and a half kilograms. As you go to some of the cotton programs, they'll be on the full nine kilogram capacity. Uh, that is really important. So it is important to keep an eye on this because what you don't want to do is if it's telling you that the maximum capacity is three and a half kilograms, if you go and put the full nine kilogram capacity in there uh, of clothes, then it will take a lot longer than an hour. Uh, so it's, it's not going to work, it won't speed it up at all. So the different options, I won't cover them all, uh, but as you can see they do a very huge amount in time. Uh, you have got this at the bottom here, the timed program, so you can actually select a time if you want it to dry to, for a certain time, so it's just a manual option. Uh, then you've got things like the, the Hygiene Plus. Super Quick 40, that's a really good option, that's just a, a 40 minute program. Uh, again, it shows you on the front there that it's just for a maximum of two kilograms, and that's normally, uh, again, for smaller loads, say light linens. Uh, then you've got the towel option, so that was a bit longer, that's around two and a half hours, six kilogram capacity. And then you've got other options here, things like sportswear, downwear, duvet option. Uh, these are really good because things like the duvet option, um, you will find in things like a washing machine, when you go to wash one large item, then sometimes it can struggle because all of the weight is over one side. It can't balance the load out. And that's why some of these specialised programmes like the duvet setting are important in this tumble dryer. Uh, because what it will do is it will dry in a completely different way to some of the other programmes like the cotton. So I certainly recommend, although I'm not a huge fan of instructions myself, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, it's something I do talk about quite a bit. But this is the book of instructions. But on this occasion, I suppose I would recommend have a look through the instructions because you could find that some of the programs are better suited to the way that you want to dry. And then once you've selected the program that you want, let's just select the cotton program for now, then you select the drying level. Now, what this means is that if you were to select iron dry, then all of the clothes inside will be slightly damp and they will be ideal to come out and then iron straight away. Uh, that's a really good option, so if you do things like shirts or blouses uh, then that's a, a better option than completely drying them because it's so much easier to, to get them ironed. And then the next option would be the cupboard dry, so it's just slightly drier than the iron dry but you do see it does make a big difference on the time. 
So as you go from two hours seven to three hours seven, and then cover dry plus to just over four hours. Now again, don't take these figures as gospel. Don't assume that each program will take three or four hours. Uh, you will find with a heat pump tumble dryer that it can take longer than a standard condenser dryer. Now I have produced a video uh, complete on this subject, so I'll just post a link here to show you a bit more in detail about that. So I won't go on too much about it, but basically with a heat pump tumble dryer, uh, it can it will vary a lot on the time depending on the ambient temperature that the tumble dryer is sat in. So if this is sat in a kitchen or in a, if it's in quite a warm atmosphere, then the times can be reduced. If you have this out in a shed or a garage, especially during winter time, then the times will can be quite long. Uh, and personally, I, I don't normally recommend having a heat pump tumble dryer if it's going to be kept in a cold atmosphere. But anyway, that's for you to decide. The next option on here, you've got the low heat setting. That's really for gentle fabrics. Uh, then you've got the hard load option. So if, if the load that you're putting in there is only a small load, then as it's saying, it's uh, well maximum four and a half kilograms, uh, then you can select that option. Uh, all this does, so I suppose with a half load, it just can reduce the time a little bit. And what I mean by that, when you first put all the clothes in, it normally takes around between sort of eight to 10 minutes to sense the, the level of the, the clothes and all the, also the moisture content. If you've already selected the half load, that can just reduce that time a little bit. So that's quite a, quite a good option. Uh, the reduced ironing on here, uh, so that can help with things like the ironing of the clothes. Once it gets to the end of the program, then it will just um, spin. Well, it won't spin, it will tumble a little bit. Um, so it just reduces the amount of creasing that you get within the clothes, which again, if, you, if you've got things like blouses, shirts, trousers that you put in the tumble dryer, then that's again, a very good option. Uh, finished in, so this is a time delay. Uh, this is to, so if you've got things like economy seven, then where you've got cheap electricity during the night, then you can delay the start of the program. Uh, you could do this up to 24 hours, then it just goes back to the standard time of the drying. Uh, you got the start and the reload. Now, the reason it says reload is that when you put all the clothes in, um, once you've got the tumble dryer going and it's sensed how long the program will take, then it's always recommended to leave the door shut. Uh, clearly, you're not going to want to open it part way through. Uh, but the reason for that is if you open the door, because there's nothing stopping you opening the door mid-program. But if you open it and then shut it and then press start, it starts the whole program again. It doesn't remember where it was at. And that's why it's really important to select reload on there, because that can, again, that can save the amount of time that you're actually drying for. I hope I've explained that well. But, uh, and then you've got the last button on here is the mute. So if you didn't want any of the audible sounds on here, because hopefully you've heard that when I've been pressing these buttons, then you've got the, the little beep on there. If you select the mute, then that will turn all of that off. That just reminded me as I press that button that on the cupboard drive plus, you have got different options. So you've got up to three levels, uh, depending on how dry you wanted the clothes. So if you did want them extremely dry, then you can take it from zero, one, two, and then three. And again, what it will do is it will actually increase the time of the drying a little bit. Clearly, at some point, the water is going to need to exit the dryer. Uh, two ways of doing that. First of all, and I suppose the most popular way, is just from the drawer. Now, this is quite a standard type of drawer that Bosch have. Uh, once you've got the, once it's full of water, then all you need to do is you go to the sink and just go and empty this out. You have got a little filter here. That's important to make sure that's kept clean. Make sure there's no fluff or any lint. Uh, kept around that. And the other option is using one of these. This is a cheeky little drain hose that comes with the dryer. And this is something, if you've got, say, a washing machine nearby, and if you've got a spare drain outlet, then you can just put this from the back of the of this tumble dryer into the drain hose, and that just saves having to empty the water container. It is a good option, and on this model, it actually has something called a self-cleaning condenser as well. On a lot of condenser tumble dryers, the condenser unit, which is normally located at the bottom, needs to be cleaned. 
Uh, that's important to keep it clean, to maintain the energy rating. Uh, I'll cover the energy rating in a bit more in a moment, uh, but with a self-cleaning condenser, what it will do is it will actually store some of the water within the drawer at the top, and then as it gets towards the end of the drying process, it will use some of that water, pump it round to go through the condenser unit, and then pump it back up to the top. Now, that's a, a brilliant option, because it just means it's one less thing to worry about on this model. And by pumping the water through the condenser unit, it just means it keeps it clean all the time. And when it is clean, then it can be a lot more efficient to run. Talking about energy efficiency, this is the energy label on the machine. As you can see, it's an A++ energy rating, so very, very energy efficient, which is brilliant. Only 258 kilowatt hours per annum. If you're looking for a condenser dryer, uh, you might not have considered heat pump before watching this, but if you're energy conscious and if you're conscious of the bills, uh, as I mentioned earlier, at the moment the UK is going through a, a bizarre pattern um, where energy prices just keep on increasing and increasing. And it is making a big difference to the number of people that are asking for more energy efficient appliances. Just have a look at some of these figures um, because you could find it by paying a bit more to, to buy the product initially, over the long term, it could save a huge amount of money. So to open the door, you've got the handle sort of recessed within the door at the top here. Now you will notice that it's got an interior light. Now, some people think it's a little bit gimmicky. Personally, I really like this. And the main reason, because it's a large capacity drum, then when you've got everything in there, sometimes if you don't have the interior light, then it can make it a little bit more difficult to check to see if you've got everything out. So I'm really glad that Bosch have done that. Also, you've got the filter in here. This is important to keep clean. That's just the standard fluff filter. Uh, another little things, I know it's not too relevant, but you've got things like metal door hinges and catches. Uh, and I only mention that because some brands are just going towards plastic hinges and door catches. And over time, they can break quite easily. If you're thinking of buying one of these machines, I've provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. As far as the warranty, the standard warranty on all Bosch products tends to be two years. At this time of recording, this has actually got a five year warranty that's part of a promotion. But as I say, just check it out before you buy it. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch WQG24509 heat pump tumble dryer. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, leave any comments below on the video. I have got one of these on display, so if you've got any questions on it, then just pop in the comments. Also, if you have got a Bosch heat pump tumble dryer, or I'll tell you what, if you've got any heat pump tumble dryer, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.